So my man here is saying that 99% of people who claim that they are Christians are not Christians. And he wants to remind me that it wasn't the people who were the, the sinners and the harlots and those people who were calling for Jesus' death, but it was the, the politicians who were calling for his death. And that all these religious people are claiming to be God, but none of them are God. They're up in the synagogues and they're calling to be God. They're in the church calling themselves to be God. They're trying to say that you can save yourself by through works and they're calling themselves to be Christians and whatnot. But these are not true Christians. Isn't it interesting that every denomination of Christianity claims that other denominations of Christians are not Christians? That anytime another Christian disagrees with their methodology of worshiping this deity, this character, they claim that that person is not doing Christianity correctly or they're not true Christians. Of course, anytime a Christian makes a mistake, as we see with many pastors lately, they're not real Christian. T.D. Jakes is not a real Christian. William Murphy III is not a real Christian. Joel Osteen, not a real Christian. They'll say that these people are not real Christians because they are in the limelight. They are doing worldly things. Kirk Franklin, he, you know, but backing it up on another woman while he's married, not a real Christian. They will claim this over and over again, yet when they look at their own lives, their own lives are just as bad as the other person's life. They're doing just as many things as the other person. It's just that yours is not in the limelight. And maybe it's your jealousy that's causing you to think this way. But, it, but if Christians can't organize themselves and come with one word, with one understanding, with one commonality of how you worship this deity, what is Christianity? Then how can you accept any version of Christianity as true Christianity? We know that those who originated Christianity, that their methodologies and their ways of worship and ritual, that you would claim that all of them, none of them rather, were Christian. Would you claim that the Romans who first started with Christianity or the Coptic Egyptians or the people in Turkey uh, were Christians, the people in the Levant, because Christianity started in the Levant and then right around the same time frame went to Turkey, Anatolia, uh, Rome, and Egypt <clears throat> roughly at the same time. And for those who are going to say it started in, e in Ethiopia, Christianity didn't come to Ethiopia until 330. That's when the Axiom Empire became Christian and they were converted by the Coptic Egyptians. So stop with that nonsense. But anyway, the ways that those people in those days practice Christianity, you would say that they were not Christian. When they came against the Gnostics, they beat them, they brutalized them, they murdered them, they forced them into Orthodox Christianity. When they came against any other variations of Christianity, they claimed to be heresy. And then you had the Reformation period with Martin Luther, John Calvin, and many others who claimed that the Catholic Church was not true Christianity. And for those Christians who were in Africa at that time frame, they're not true Christians. The Ethiopians have uh, way more books and believe that they are the holders of the Ark of the Covenant. They can't be Christians. And then the Puritans and the pilgrims, they wanted to leave England because what had became the Ang Anglican church they thought was not true Christianity. And so they wanted to leave and go and practice Christianity for themselves in their way because they believed that they were the only ones who were practicing Christianity correctly. And in America, Christianity spread and became a dominating religion, and then it broke into the Presbyterians and the Lutherans and uh, the AMEs and the Methodists and every other variation. And in today's world, it's the non-denominationals and the evangelicals, and all are claiming that they are Christians and the other ones are not, or they're practicing a warped sense of Christian Christianity. The only thing you take comfort in is the fact that all of you believe that in the beginning was the word and the word was God and that word became flesh and that was Jesus. Even though it's a mistranslation. <laughs> and it does not say that. It says, actually, in the beginning, the word was a God and that God was towards the God. So it's saying that the word was a God, not the God, because Tom Theos is not there when it talks about the late Logos. Go research it for yourself. So who are Christians? And why are you the only Christian and the one who gets to decide who Christians are and who Christians are not? If you believe in this book and you believe in this Jesus, 
you are Christian. But if you believe in this book and you believe in this Jesus, whether you claim religion or relationship, you are believing in a deity that was created by man that has changed based on the culture of man. So you are believing in a fairy tale and you cannot prove the fairy tale with the fairy tale. If I could prove the fairy tale with the fairy tale, then Cinderella exists. Snow White exists. Hansel and Gretel exist. And Spider-Man, of course, exists. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. The journey with vibrations.